today's video, I'm going to show you how to repair a VHS-C tape where the tape has broken off inside of the cassette. My name is Mark and welcome to my channel, The Media Nerd. Now, if you find this video useful and educational, please take one quick second and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate you supporting the channel. Let's get started. The tools that you're going to need to repair a VHS-C tape is plastic tape, small sharp scissors, a fairly large Phillips head screwdriver, a small Phillips head screwdriver, and a little flathead screwdriver. Now, before we open this up, I want to show you a couple things. On the bottom, there are four screws, two large ones, which you'll need this larger Phillips head for. And then there are two small screws here and here, which you'll need the small Phillips head screwdriver for. Now, it's not just going to open up once you take the screws out. On this side of the tape, there are two little clasps right in here that you'll have to press in. On the other side of the tape, you open up the lid, there's another one right here that you'll have to press in for this tape to open up. Now let's go ahead and open this baby up. I'm going to take out the larger screws first. Doesn't really matter the order, but you do want to keep track of the screws and remember that the two large ones go in the center. Unlike the VHS tape that you have to hold on to it to flip it over, you can just easily flip it over because of those clasps. Try to get these screws out. There's the one large one. Now I found it easiest to take care of this clasp first. Just push it in and you see it'll open right up. Now, gently flip it and keep it on this side because there's a lot of little moving parts in this VHSC tape that's gonna fall all over the place if you're not careful. Now, I'm going to press in this clasp. Let's press in this one. I see that it's opening up. Now let's just gently remove it. There we go. Now I did see that this metal piece fell off. That's okay, that goes right here. And then I saw the spring came off. This spring goes right here, just like that. You're really going to wanna keep all of these parts in place because it's a bugger figuring out where they go. There is a little plastic piece right here that can easily fall out, and you don't want that to fall out. It could be a little hard to put back in. And there's also this green piece right here. This is the record and save, so you don't record over your tape. You're gonna wanna make sure that that doesn't fall out, and the spring if it does fall out, you know where it goes. It goes right here. Now, just like how I repair my VHS tapes, I'm gonna pull out some plastic tape. And I'm gonna do the best I can to cut this right down the center because we don't need much to hold this tape together. Let's put one piece off to the side. Now, because I don't have a third and fourth hand, this scotch tape is going to act like my other hand, my third hand. I'm gonna put a loop and I'm gonna put it right on the table, just like this. That is how I'm going to hold the tape down. Let's take this side first. Find the end. You can pull it out if you need to. The tape is going to go in between this piece of plastic I showed you earlier.
and through these two reels right here. Now I'm going to just gently place it on the tape so it sticks. Just like that, right in the middle. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Let's pull this out really quick. And we'll put it back. Okay, this one is a little trickier. It's going to go in between this plastic and this small little reel here. It may not be called a reel, but for all intents and purposes, I'm just showing you where it goes. You don't need to know the names of every single part sort of silly there we go and it's going to go in between the metal and the plastic just like that now let's get this back on perfect we'll worry about putting that little mechanism in the spring back in a moment let's just get this in going to want to do the best as you can to line the tape up by laying it on top, hold your finger down and make sure to line that up the best you can. It's slippery. There. Press it down. Good, now you have a nice splice right here. I'm gonna take my sharp little scissors, I'm gonna pull it back, and I'm gonna cut it right there. So now we have a nice little splice here I'm going to take my second piece of tape and I'm going to lay it right over top, just like that. Press it down with your... So see, it's not very thick, so it should be able to run through your machine just fine with that thickness. Let's cut it away from the table. Now let's cut the excess tape off. Get it as close to the VHS tape as you can. If you cut into the VHS tape a little bit, that is okay. It's better to cut into the tape than it is to have any sticky tape that could mess up the mechanisms inside the VCR. Let's clean that up just a little bit. I don't want you hanging on there. Okay, let's go ahead and wind this in, just like that. This came out from in between. Let's get it back in. There we go. There. Now let's put this back in. I hope you can see it. it has little teeth marks here. That is what clamps onto this spool here. So we're gonna put it right back in and see how it just fell right in perfectly. Now let's put our string on, our spring. String, spring. You can hear it. Okay, now it's nice and tight. Just gonna lay this right back on very gently. There, you heard a clip. Everything is clipped in. That looks perfect. And we're gonna go ahead and put our screws back in. Remember the bigger screws go in the center. And the small screws go on the sides. Tight. 
tighten them in. There you go. You are ready to rock and roll. This tape is fixed. So that was pretty simple, right? It just took a little finesse and some steady hands and the right tools. However, if you're uncomfortable fixing your own tapes, I can fix them for you. You can contact me at info at coloradospringsvideo.com or you can go to my website, www.coloradospringsvideo.com. I do have a page with an order form that you can fill out and send me any kind of media that you want to have transferred. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you did find this video informative and useful and educational, please take a second to subscribe, like, and ring that bell for future notifications to support the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.